In research methods, in addition to the experiment and the survey and psychological tests, uh, researchers also have longitudinal and cross-sectional studies that they can use. Uh, you typically will find longitudinal and cross-sectional listed in your developmental chapter rather than your methodology chapter. And both offer observations and measurements on a variety of variables. Longitudinal is when you make observations on key characteristics of one group of people through a long period or over a long period of time. So you start with one group of people, typically when they're fairly young, and then you follow them for many, 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 many years. And so it's the same group of people over time. Uh, and so you might want to call this a within-subject study. Uh, for example, the most famous one probably is the Terman study on gifted youth, where Terman started the research and he followed, them as, uh, he followed his subjects throughout their lives, and then his colleagues took over the research after Terman himself had died. Another example would be when a, the BBC television show 7-Up um, looked at a group of students, uh, a group of young people when they were seven, and then they followed them at seven-year intervals. So then it was 14 up and 21 up and 28 up and 35 up. I don't know if they um, moved beyond 35 or not, but um, they were definitely on the, on the road to do that. But then under cross-sectional, you're going to be dealing with cohorts. That is to say, a group of people from age categories, age groups. And so when we're, we're looking at age categories, so you might take 15 subjects that are groups uh, in ages 1 to 5. You might take another 15 subjects that are in 6 to, six to 10 years of age. You might take another 15 subjects that are 11 to 15. The challenge that you have with that are what are called cohort effects. And cohort effects are generational things that may influence, generational experiences that may influence how a generation perceives reality and how they adjust to and deal with various uh, environmental stimuli that they experience. But this allows a researcher to get a, st a snapshot of an entire life without taking an entire life to do the research. This also allows for a study of more variables that you wouldn't necessarily be able to examine in a longitudinal study. So that's the two uh, research methods in a nutshell.